for today's video. We're gonna be doing a makeup look. Um, I really just wanted to sit down and talk to you guys about a few things, I guess just get stuff off of my chest. I am going to warn you guys right now, the video is a little bit all over the place, but it's fine. I mean, at the end, it all makes sense, so just bear with me till the end. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm Nicolette. I try to upload weekly. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave and give the video a thumbs up if you like what you see. Also, don't forget to hit that bell next to the subscribe button, that way you are notified when I do upload a video. As always, my social media links are down below for you guys. Give me a follow, let's be friends. I love talking to you guys on social media, especially Instagram. TikTok is always a party. And yeah, that's all I have to say. If you guys wanna see how I got this look, as well as just hear about a few things, grab your makeup brushes, grab a snack, and let's get going. For today, I'm gonna to be using the Sassy Sienna's palette. This is from Dose of Colors. I did get it in a boxy charm though. I'm mainly gonna be using these three shades right here in my crease and my outer corner and everything. And then I'm gonna use a highlight for the lid shade. All right, let's get started. If I do forget to mention anything, everything will be listed down below for you guys. I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit. Eyes are all primed and I do have tape on. I want it to be sharp. When you guys know when the tape comes out, it gets really serious. So first I'm gonna take this guy right here in the shade Foxy. I'm gonna take that on a Morphe M330. It is a bit of a tapered brush. Normally I don't go in with tapered brushes first. I normally just go in with fluffy brushes, but I'm gonna lay it down with the tapered brush and then go in with the fluffy brush as you guys will see. If you guys can hear an echo in here, I don't really know why there is one honestly um first off do you guys see how pigmented these shades are my goodness so don't forget to tap off the extra i did not need to go in with this much that's all right that is all right we want it to be really smoky anyway so that's okay so i'm just laying foxy right in my crease all right so like i said i just wanted to talk to you guys so if you're new i had an older channel i had about 13,000 subscribers i put a lot of work into it i started it when i was pregnant with my oldest and it unfortunately got hacked by a dipshit who had way too much time on their hands and um, that is what led me to this channel. I don't even know. I would say it was probably when I moved out of Arizona. I kind of started losing interest in makeup. Like it just wasn't something I wanted to do. I'm not going in with a, what is this? It's a blending brush. I forget uh, from who though, but it is a big fluffy blending brush. Anyways, I just started losing interest in makeup, in doing looks. I mean, I was always doing the same look, kind of what I'm doing today, honestly. But uh, just like my creativity outlet just wasn't, it just was not lit. You know what I'm saying? Like I didn't wanna do makeup and I had two kids when I moved out of Arizona um, to California and I don't know, I just, not only that, but I moved in with my brother-in-law and sister-in-law, so, I just didn't want to bring like all of my equipment, you know what I'm saying? So I did take a little break and I feel like in that break, that's where, like I said, I lost that, that fire, you know? I lost interest in makeup. You know, looking back on it now, it makes me sad because this was my first love. Like, all right, hold on, side note. I'm going in with Brassy now on a, I believe, yeah, a Luxie 121 mini brush. I'm not blending with this, I'm literally just laying this. I'm gonna lay it right in my crease, but not all the way. Right here, this is where I want it to stop. And I'm literally just packing that color on. I'm not blending, I'm just packing right there. Anyways, like I was saying, this was my first love. I started my other channel when I was pregnant with my oldest, not taking a Sigma blending E25. I feel like I'm just everywhere already. But when I was pregnant with her, I was going through a really, really, really hard time in my life. And I turned to makeup, you know what I'm saying? I turned to YouTube pretty much. I started my channel on a whim. The only person that knew about it was my dad. And when I started sharing it with others, that's when it really started to take off. And it was starting YouTube, it was always just a hobby for me. Like it was something that I wanted to do. I love to talk as you guys know. Um, editing is so much fun for me. And when I'm editing, I begin to really hate myself because I talk so much. <laughs> oh my God, side note, sorry. If you see this, my cold sore is just going away. Um, that's what took me so long to film because I was waiting for that damn thing to go away. But I was like, I feel like it's at a pretty good stage where I can actually film, so please don't mind that. But anyways, when I started getting more subscribers and views and then I actually started making money off of it, that's when I was like, wow, this can actually be something. You know what I'm saying? And honestly, taking a break was probably my biggest downfall 
And also, I feel like incorporating other videos was also my biggest downfall. Um, my videos, my channel was strictly beauty, nothing else. Well, I don't know. I guess I, no, it was all, no, I'm lying. It was all beauty. And I, when I started incorporating other videos, I feel like that's where I really lost the views. That's where I lost some of my subscribers. Because like I said, I started this with just beauty and that's all it was. I know I sound like I'm everywhere. It'll all make sense in the end, I promise. But I just, like I said, when I moved out, that's when I really started losing interest in makeup. I didn't want to put on makeup anymore. And I think because I knew I just didn't really have time to put makeup on and really sit down and, you know, think of creative looks. So then I just started thinking, well, then why even do it? You know what I'm saying? Pause. Now I'm going to go in with Stay Sassy, this guy right here, the darkest shade in the palette. I'm going to take a Sigma E54 which is a medium sweeper. This is gonna be the outside shade that lays right next to that tape. And just like the shade before, I'm just gonna pack it on first and then I'm gonna blend it. I'm gonna bring it all the way to where I want the lid shade to meet it, which is about right here, and then just take it out. So I'm gonna open my eyes because I wanna see where it's going. I don't wanna take this above my crease. No, I do not wanna take it. I wanna lay it right in my crease, but as you can see out here, I kind of already did, so it's fine will fix that, but that's why I'm doing it with my eyes open so I can see where it's gonna lay, but also how it's gonna look when my eyes are open. If you guys can hear the rain outside, it is pouring, pouring, sister, pouring. All right, I'm gonna take a regular blending brush and I'm just gonna blend this dark shade. Who's calling me? Okay, now I'm going back to the story, guys. I know, I'm everywhere, I apologize. So now when I moved to Japan, um, I started making videos again and I started getting good views again, but the views I was getting wasn't on my makeup videos. The views I was getting was on my more lifestyle videos, right? And when I would ask people on Instagram, like, hey, would you guys be interested in seeing something like a everyday mom routine or you know something with my kids? I Those videos and those questions was getting way more like attention more than my makeup videos, you know? So that's when I was like, okay, makeup is just not my thing anymore. I'm just gonna have to do lifestyle videos, mom videos, you know? And then my channel got hacked. Um, like I did mention earlier, my other channel did get hacked, obviously, which is why you're watching me on this channel. But that broke my heart. You guys, I'm not even kidding. I I feel like I could cry about it just think, just talking about it now. But I, I cried about it, literally, you guys. And if you want to know more about that, just go to my first video. I'll link it in the cards and also down below for you guys. Um, I go more in depth in it or about it in that video. I don't want to talk about it now because like I said, I feel like I'll start crying. Uh, and that's how serious I took it, you guys. I really started crying. But because like I said, I, I just put so much time into it, into my other channel. And yeah, I took a break. And yeah, I did begin to lose interest. But I think just the fact that somebody would even do that, it just really upset me. You know what I'm saying? And so... Um, that was another reason why I was like, you know what, this is just not it. And I was talking to my husband about it and I was like, what do I do, you know? And he was like, just make videos, you know, just do it again, start back up, be consistent with how you were. And, you know, I was talking to him about how am I supposed to find my passion for it again? You know, how am I supposed to fall in love with makeup again when it's, to me, I'm just not as creative as I once was, you know what I'm saying? Um, and then, you know, again, he was just talking to me like, you just gotta do it, you know? You just gotta take it one day at a time, one step at a time. And the first step is doing videos again, right? So that's why we're here. And I'm I'm really, just, like I said, I'm just trying to find my passion for it again. I, I've been watching makeup tutorials again lately and I stopped doing that, you guys. Even though I'm subscribed to a lot of beauty gurus, I stopped watching makeup tutorials because it just was never an interest of mine. You know what I'm saying? Or it never was. No, it's always been an interest. I just lost interest in it. So I was like, why am I gonna sit here and watch something if I'm not even interested in it, right? You know, now that I'm sitting here talking about it out loud, this has, this has always been my love. This has always been my passion, beauty. And I mean, I may have lost interest, but I feel like the more, like I said, I mean, like my husband said, the more I do it, the more I'm just gonna fall more in love with it. I think another thing with me is just really prioritizing it. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I lost interest because when I moved out, I just, to me, I didn't have the time to do makeup. So I was like, why even do it, you know? I'm gonna go in with the Vitalist Healthy Glow Highlighter Illuminator from CoverGirl. This one is in shade number three. I'm taking that on a Royal and Lang Nickel Concealer Brush. I'm gonna pick some of that up and then wipe it on the back of my hand. I don't need all of that. 
So, normally I would cut the crease with a concealer, but the, I'm, this is what I'm taking the highlighter for. And I'm just gonna apply that right all over the lid and I'm gonna stop right where that dark shade is, right where Stay Sassy is. I'm literally here just trying to, you know, get my passion back, get my, my groove back in makeup. And honestly, I feel like quarantine has, has gotten me that way because if we were not like this, I guarantee you I would not, I wouldn't be sitting here, I kid you not. If we weren't in quarantine on the weekends, I would find every excuse not to make a video. I would make every excuse. Even though 2020 is a shitty ass year so far, let's be honest, this quarantine has definitely helped me ignite the fire, if that makes sense. You know, so I use this to pretty much carve out my lid again. I am opening my eyes I like to open my eyes with my when I am applying eyeshadow because I want to see how it's gonna look You know what I'm saying next I'm going in with Laura Geller's Gilded honey. That's a mouthful. This is obviously a highlight, but I am using it as a lid color I don't I feel like I don't have a shade that's exactly like this, which is why I'm using it, you know Oh my gosh, just so pretty. I'm gonna go in with a pencil brush. This one is from Morphe. It's an E36 I'm gonna take stay sassy. Is that it? Yeah, stay sassy and I'm literally Dipping it in and tapping it off. I don't I don't want that much color if any at all I'm gonna take what's on the brush and I'm literally gonna blend these two together I don't want you see that harsh line that was there. I don't want that But I'm literally just taking the two ends of the shades and combining them. This is literally my favorite part of eyeshadow I feel like this just gives the look that nice like airbrushed type of look you know? So next I'm gonna go in with eyeliner. I'm using two today for my lid. I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal Lacour, Lacour liner. This one just in black obviously. And then for the wing, I'm using the CoverGirl liquid liner. I am going to be doing this off camera. If you're new to my channel, I never do my liner and lashes off camera because it's just stressful. But um, that is what I'm using. I don't know what lashes I'm using yet. Uh, but you guys will obviously see in a little bit. So yeah, I'm gonna do my liner and lashes off camera. I did quickly wanna say though, when you use tape like this, this will help with your liner. So if you are new to liner, I suggest using a liquid one. That one is a lot easier than using like a gel. Get the liner and close your eyes obviously and literally follow the line, follow the tape. That's all you gotta do is just follow the tape and then drag it in. Hope one day I'll probably do a tutorial on eyeliner, but that day is not today. So I will be right back. All right, liner and lashes are on. The lashes I'm using today are from K Minx. They are the Clio collection and they are in Sakata. K Minx are definitely one of my favorites. I do have a link and coupon code down below for you guys in case you guys are interested. Moving on into the face. Oh, also I did take a makeup wipe and I just wiped away any fallout. To prime my face, I'm gonna be using the Benefit Pore Professional. Such a goodie, a little goes such a long way. I did get this in a boxy charm. I'm gonna stop saying that because a lot of my makeup I do get from um, boxy charm. I just, I mean, I guess kind of going along the same lines. I, when I lost interest in makeup, I obviously stopped buying it. You know what I'm saying? But I kept my boxy charm subscription because they've been having really, really good products in their boxes. And I was like, okay, well, I can just get my makeup from there instead of buying it. You know? But I definitely see myself making some purchases here very soon. For foundation, I, I just can't shake these two. I'm taking the CoverGirl Matte Ambition Full Spectrum Foundation in Tan Golden. And then I'm also taking the L'Oreal Infallible um, 24 hour wear. This one is in 475. Tan golden is really good for when for my summer shade and the 475 is a little too light for me so I'm just going to mix both of them and make a good shade. You know what I'm saying? As far as my channel, I I just don't really know where I want to take it. I also don't want to just upload like random videos. You know what I'm saying? Like I want my channel to be what am I trying to say here? Trying, I don't know like one specific subject, you know, one topic. Whether it be beauty, lifestyle, I don't really know. Or if I did do beauty and lifestyle, but like upload beauty on certain days and then upload lifestyle on certain days, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know guys, help me out. I know this is very new for me, but I'm taking a stippling brush. This one is actually from the brand Royal Glam. It's a military spouse here. Well, she did live here. I'm pretty sure she keeps yeah, she moved. Um, she created the brand. So she actually was so kind enough to give me a full set and I love them. They're really good. So I'm gonna try, this is a new foundation. I did get in a boxy charm. 
But um, I normally just stick to my CoverGirl foundation or my Born This Way Too Faced just because I know that's what I like. But I'm gonna try this guy out today. Oh my gosh, if it'll open. This one is from Pretty Vulgar. This one is in the shade Undercover. It definitely has a peachy undertone and it's definitely right close to my shade. So I'm probably gonna go in with another one right on top. Just right off the bat though, this does remind me a lot of the NYX HD concealer. It definitely has a peachy undertone. Um, I like to use more of a yellow undertone when I am highlighting, but I could use this for coverage. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this right where I need the most coverage, which is definitely around the areas. I'm gonna take a Royal and Lang Nickel MD eyeshader. It's just a nice flat top, and I'm just gonna blend that in. I'm not using any beauty blender today, which is really different for me because I'm always using one. If you can hear my kids, they're probably out there fighting or jumping on each other. Ooh, I like the coverage though. That's cute, I like that. It's very like natural looking, you know? It's cute. Ooh, I like that. It blends out really easily as well. I'm taking in the Born This Way Concealer from Too Faced, so good. A little goes a long way and look how big the applicator is. Like it's huge, so you don't need a lot of this, okay? So I definitely made that mistake and your girl was looking a little cry. So I'm just gonna go in with two on each side, and then we're gonna take a little and come right on the sides of my nose just so I can come in and contour, make it look a bit more slim. And I'm gonna take a little, little, little tiny bit, literally the tiniest bit, and come up here and make some dots right there. Well, alrighty then, come right here. Hold on now, hold on. When it comes to the side of my nose, I'm just gonna blend it down. Blend it down right to the under eye part. I'm gonna get right into my inner corner. I've really been liking brushes like this to blend out my concealer, especially for when I'm trying to get to the sides of my nose because I'm trying to get this precise. I'm trying to get this slim. All right, I'm gonna go in with the brush that I use to blend out my foundation and I'm just gonna come in here and blend out those harsh, harsh lines. I know you guys saw those. I know you saw how harsh they looked. Please don't leave it like that. Please blend your makeup. I'm gonna go in with the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder, again, in a boxy charm. I'm gonna go in with the Morphe M538. My numbers are starting to wear off, but I'm just gonna take a little bit of that. I'm gonna come in here and tap out the bottom just because I don't wanna set those creases. Now, if there's one thing you guys should know about makeup, yes, you can hide your imperfections, of course, that's what makeup is for. There's one thing to remember. If you have creases, you're gonna have creases, honey. There's nothing that's gonna take that away. No makeup is gonna take that away. Phase two may take that away, but makeup is not gonna take it away. You can make the illusion to look like you have no creases under there, but when you're looking at it dead on, you're gonna have creases, honey, and it's just the simple fact because you have creases. You know what I'm saying? There, I love this powder, so freaking good. I'm gonna go in with the, what is this? This is a Luxie 209. It is a bit of an angled brush. It is a large shader. I'm gonna come right here and I'm gonna come down the sides of my nose because I really wanna try to snatch that guy. And then I'm gonna come at the top, make sure I'm setting that as well. I do get really sweaty on my nose, so. I'm using the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Powder. This one is in the shade Medium Beige. I'm gonna go in with a Royal and Lang Nickel Big Brush. Tap off. And this one I like to press into the skin. For bronzer today, I'm gonna to be using the Benefit Hula. I still have not gone away. I still haven't used a different product, excuse me. I just, I just can't. Like, it's so good, goodness. I'm using a Luxie 512. This is a small contouring brush. Next, I'm going in with this angled brush from the Royal Glam line that I was telling you guys about. I'm gonna start at the tip of my brow and I'm just going to drag it down. Also, with the powder there, the Becca powder there, that's gonna help me determine where I need to put this bronzer. Again, starting at the tip. Coming down. I almost want to make it look like I can't breathe, you know? How are you guys doing? I want to know how you guys are doing. Comment down below. Let me know how your quarantine is going. For blush, I'm going in with the Chiate. Chiate London. Marbled Light Blush in the shade Burnt. I'm going in with a Royal and Lang Nickel Big fluffy brush right here. This one would also be really good for bronzer. I love baked blushes. They are so pretty. This one reminds me a lot of the Milani one. I'm trying to get rid of as much as I can because this blush is really, really pigmented. And I'm just gonna go with a really light hand. 
I'm gonna go right on the apples of my cheeks and blend that back. It's so crazy to me to think, I never used to like blush, like I used to always skip it. And I'm like, why did we do that? Like why? Why was that a thing? This big guy and just blend everything together. All right, so now we're gonna go in and finish the lower lash line. I'm first gonna go in with um, Brassy, which is this guy right here. I'm gonna use a Morphe M501. It is a really, really small flat brush and I'm just gonna lay it down. I'm literally gonna lay that right along my lash line. I'm gonna take this brush right here and come in here and blend that guy out. I want it to be really, really, really really smoky down here. And then I'm gonna pick up Day Sassy, the darker color, with the same pencil brush that I used earlier. I'm just going to focus this right on the outer, outer part of my lower lash line. I'm not gonna bring it in, I'm just gonna focus it right on the outer corner. I'm gonna take that same brush that I just used and I'm gonna blend that guy out. I like to blend it up here, like towards my liner, almost as, blah, 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 blah. Almost as if I am connecting the two shadows from my upper lid, my upper lid, from my eyelid to my lower lash line. You guys, you guys know I can't talk. For lower lashes, I'm gonna go in with the Benefit Roller Lash. So good, I think I talked about it in my last video, but it does have a little curve, so it's really good for getting the individual lashes. I'm gonna go in with the Benefit Cookie Highlighter. I'm gonna use that as a brow bone highlight as well as an inner corner highlight. My inner corner is something I love. I love this to be so bright. I just feel like it really brings the whole entire look together. No matter what color you're using, no matter what eyeshadow look you're going for, whether it be like a blue, a purple, a red, whatever, an orange, that inner corner highlight to me has got to be so bright they can see me from space, like I'm not kidding. I'm gonna, right here, blend it in also nicely and bring it all together. I'm gonna go in with the cookie that I use for my inner corner highlight as well as the brow bone highlight. And I'm gonna hit that at the highest point, highest point. Bridge of the nose, tip, this is my favorite place to highlight. I'm gonna go back in and blend everything. For lips, I'm gonna be lining them with the Rimmel Exaggerate Liner. This one is in the shade Addiction. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Lipstick in Baddest Beige. I'm picking that up on a brush. It's a really pinky nude. Last but not least, I'm gonna set everything with the Maybelline Master uh, Fix, I was gonna say Studio Fix, Master Fix Setting Spray. Alrighty guys, and this is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was kind of all over the place and I do apologize, but I feel like I just had to get everything off my chest. Again, everything I used will be linked down below for you guys in case you guys are interested. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.